Hey guys, uh, Nicholas G here, uh, just checking in. I know it's only been like a day since I well, posted my last one. Um, so I got a strawberry shake because I was craving it. I should probably be eating like salads and stuff to make myself feel better, but uh, I got a burger and fries and a milkshake. So I'm just headed to work now. Yikes, I can't get a good angle. Um, it was cloudy yesterday, so I didn't have to worry about the sun. Anyway, um, I'm parked now just before I go into work like I was yesterday, and I don't really think I needed to make uh, an update video because it's only been a day, like I said, so I'm repeating myself. Um, but basically, I was just telling uh, everyone like what I did today as far as um, Better Business Bureau and calling my bank. Okay, you guys are just going to have to deal with the sun coming in. So, um, I was dreading calling my bank. Um, to report it just because I, I felt stupid I was like oh well it was my fault for clicking on the link on Instagram and my fault for you know falling for it but I'm like anyway so I called and I'm like oh gosh should I even be calling I mean it, it's 20 bucks and uh, anyway I was dreading it and the guy picks up and I'm like yeah I think you know I'm pretty sure I got scammed um, so you know we just talked for like 20 minutes he was super nice, super helpful. He put in a case uh, number for me or whatever. Um, he says it takes up to 10 days, and I had to give him the Lemon Apparel website. And I kept saying, like, yeah, I mean, I guess I should have known if it was too good to be true, but I mean, I already know that. I shop it on Wish. If something's free, you know, you just pay shipping or 99 cents, it's not going to be like Balenciaga, you know, it's not going to be great. Um, so anyway, he was just like, yeah, no, no problem. Um, it looks like, you know, it was subtracted from your account. It has their business name in it and it says it was from New York. So when I was filling out my Better Business Bureau, um, I had at least more information. You know, I gave the company, the website, the, um, lemon apparel shop dot, uh, at gmail.com and I put, you know, based out of New York, I'm pretty sure. And then they give you a paragraph that you can explain what happened, what'd you click on, how'd you get to the website, you know, and I told them Instagram is what got me there. And I was curious about, um, cause you know, I wanted to film it just because I felt like I was alone and like, oh, how could they scam me? Like, and I couldn't find anything about it on the internet. So I'm not glad that you guys all got scammed too, but I don't feel alone. And I, I love that actually. We can all like rally against them basically cause we were all tricked. Um, so, um, yeah. I um, submitted a complaint to the Better Business Bureau, a, a fraud alert to the Bez Better Business Bureau, which links are in my other video in the description. I put the links like directly to the Better Business Bureau. Uh, blah, 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 I can't say that. Um, and yeah, the, it's going to be 10 days. They're going to review it. And he says it looks pretty good that I'll get my money back. So hopefully you guys can submit it to your bank and and don't be like me, I felt stupid. And I'm like, oh, I was tricked, it's my fault, so I should just have to sit on the $20, like. But it really wasn't, like, their website looked legit, it had reviews, it had, you know, a logo. <sighs> and that's the thing, it just really bothers me how intricate stealing has become. It's like, they made this whole website and took pictures and had prices and shipping and, like, if they put all of their energy into something good, to sell something good, even be a marketer for someone else, like, they would actually make money honestly. So I just, um, I hate that we all got scammed, but I think, now I know, <laughs> if it's too good to be true, it really truly is, and I'll stick to Wish, which, um, you know, is hit or miss, or Amazon, and it just makes me sad for makes me feel bad for the small business, um, you know, people that have Instagram um, shops and stuff like that, because I worked at a home decor store at the beginning of the year, super small, you know, I would reach out to people's Instagrams, and uh, I mean, I don't really trust, you know, Instagram pop-ups anymore, not that you should, but um, I bought, in, you know, a few things from Instagram pop-ups, like the Z-patch things that help you go to sleep, and vitamin gummies, and stuff like that. Um, it just sucks that you, in, in today's age, you can't tell what's a scam and what's not. So I just, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. And I know I'm rambling on, I'm so sorry, none of you know who I am and, you know, I don't have a following or anything, but I was having a super bad day yesterday. Um, you know, the water bottle thing happened, something else happened in my personal life and, 
um, something happened at work. Uh, a customer was being belligerent and making fun of me for my sexuality. Um, and so yeah, it was just not a good day. So when I got home and I, I read that, you know, other people it happened to as well and I was just commenting and I just felt good that like I had someone to actually listen. And so thank you for your comments. I want to hear the stories. I want to hear you, you know, go to your bank and um, if you submitted something to the Better Business Bureau. Um, anyway, just be positive. Um, I'm going to be more positive today. So have a good day, you guys. <laughs>